Hey, today I'm making April from the last Ronin series. I'm using Scarlet from the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe movie. I got this a couple years ago, always knowing I was going to make an April. And I wanted to make this one for a long time, but first I give her a haircut. That's, um, because this April that I'm doing from the last Ronin, she's got shorter hair, she's older. She's got a big scar, and I really got to get in there, because the plastic just wants to seal back on itself. Then I also give her some, like, laugh lines and wrinkles and stuff. Also, she has no arm. Well, she's got, uh, uh, also she lost her arm and one leg, so I cut off the part of the arm and then I drill a hole so that I can put her, um, like, robot arm. And this is a hand from the T-800 I used to make a, um, shredder figure. And it was a right hand, but I needed a left hand, so I cut off the thumb and then I glued it on the other side and put a little, um, other piece of wire in there pipe or whatever it is it's plastic but it looks like steel anyway so i'm covering everything with the matte acrylic varnish and i've wanted to do this version of april for a long time first i thought i was going to do the same one i did years ago when the comics were first coming out but then when i was looking more at the figure it looks like the clothes that she's wearing could easily be turned into overalls rather than the just the yellow jacket so i'm going for this april and just yesterday i finished the figure a week ago but i was sick so i couldn't edit and finish the video until this week and yesterday i saw i had to build up her chin i used milliput and then i sand it down a bit and then built the scar deeper in there but that's her missing a leg and an arm this one i'm not going to take her leg off because it's under pants and a boot so you can't tell but the arm i'm going to do like a cybernetic arm or whatever and um so I start to try and match kind of the color of the face, but I'm going to do a different skin color after. And I'm cover everything with a gray primer. I just mix some white and black in to make gray. But yeah, yesterday at Comic-Con, NECA finally showed that they're doing this exact same figure. I thought it would be the version that they'd do, and I knew they were going to do it soon i thought i could beat them and i kind of did but now because this video is coming out a week late they already showed theirs yesterday at comic con so you might have seen that but um now i'm going with yellow for her shirt so she's wearing a different shirt than she is in the comics and it's from the lost years comics from the ronin verse and nick also did all the kid turtles or the new turtles um but i guess the teenage versions of them because they they were like toddlers and then they were teenagers because that's how comics work so to get the skin tone i had a little bit of green because i had to go with a toothpick to give her green eyes and i just to make a little green dot a toothpick is sturdier for me than uh, like a small paintbrush i just wanted a circle so that worked then i mixed some of the portrait pink and peach to get the skin color and one of the arm i'm going to paint the sleeve so it's just like her skin instead of her uh, shirt that was going down when it was scarlet from gi joe so i'll keep showing that picture that i'm going for now i'm putting another coat of the matte acrylic varnish to seal up everything that i painted and i did the hair again but i didn't need to because i did that earlier and after i decided i was going to do this version i 3d printed a bunch of tools and um, a leg for her with a nike shoe and she'll just have one leg with a running shoe and one with a boot so that's her extra leg for when she's going jogging you know just hanging out and not needing a boot and then i go through flipping each one over so i can paint it again after one side dries and um yeah that's just i thought it was funny how much trouble i was having with this and this is in time lapse really it took me a lot longer but it's like one second is like 30 seconds i think how the time lapse is set up and then i go in her scar with a deep red and then just add a little few little blemishes and i'm back to the skin color and i'm doing the part of her leg that connects to her leg that she still has and then i um, dry brush over her face with the skin color and do another coat on her arm so that's what i'm going for so one of the tools i 3d printed was a sledgehammer but the handle didn't come out right so now it's gonna be better because i'm making a handle out of wood and so instead of painting the plastic to look like wood it's multimedia it's um cool i use one of the other hammers to hammer 
the head of the hammer in. If you saw that, it's very small. You mostly just see my hands in these videos. Now I have a darker brown that I'm doing accents and some of the, so her overalls have like extra leather padding and stuff because she's doing like um, soldering metal and stuff. So she's got a lot of gear on. And so the darker brown and it just really fit with the what Scarlet was wearing if it was a little baggier. So I beefed up her arms with some milliput when I was doing that, where I think I used a uh, epoxy sculpt on the arms. And now I'm just I'm doing like a wash. I'm dipping in water and the brown to go over the wood of the handle of the sledgehammer. Now I do a second coat with a darker brown because I really want to pop it, want it to pop out. And I realized doing this that all my shades of brown are really close to each other. So it was hard to make them pop. And with my leftover epoxy sculpt and uh, milliput, I mix it together to make that little uh, head of um, Professor Honeypot, uh, Honeycot, Honeycomb, Professor uh, the Fugitoid. Yeah, I made him. Now I'm cutting some little strips off the hair that I cut off her to add some like wild strands to make her more look like April. And uh, then I paint it with a darker red. I think it's a scarlet red because I want it to be more red than orange, but I have a little bit of orange highlights. So I'm gonna go with a wash after to really bring out all the detail in the hair. So now I have find a lighter brown. I'd already gone over these with a cinnamon brown, but it wasn't light enough. So that was a lighter brown because the knee pads are a lighter color. Then I found this like emerald, met emerald metallic green I wanted to use for just her belt buckle because you don't see her belt buckle in the pictures because she has a towel hanging over a belt just like a rag for when you're working. And then I painted one of the knives and then afterwards I decided to paint the other knife because some of the gear that Scarlet came with was really good. So you got a gun and it had two knives that attached to it and also a crossbow and it was a really nice crossbow. But to make that towel I was just talking about, the um, shop rags, I just had an old sock and I cut the gray part off the toe and uh, use that and uh, I have a gray wash that I was using but it wasn't giving me enough detail so I switched to a black wash and I go in all the details and just add a lot on her hair and on the because the knife um, the blade has details in it so I want to bring those out yeah so I did that and then details in the pouches and now I put everything together I'd cut a bunch of uh, faux leather strips to make straps to add all the stuff to her but if I filmed it it would just be my hands you wouldn't see anything so these are all the pieces and that's I made a kind of belt loop thing for the wrenches and I don't have pictures of NECA, NECA's one because I haven't released any yet but I just saw Matt Hatter's video of Comic-Con and uh, wanted to do a Casey soon but they already did Casey I kind of beat them to this but I didn't beat them with the video. So uh, until next time, remember, always keep your head up. Peace.